Hi everybody. Today I'm actually going to share with you the recipe step by step of the turkey meatballs that I posted a few times before in my Instagram and the Facebook. These are very easy. It's a quick meal for everybody. It incorporates a lot of greens, which make the food always taste fantastic, but it's also visually very appealing. If you have a picky eater in the family, this is the time to start to just like throw in their things for this person. But this is good also if you need to meal prep for the week, they, they, you can put them in the refrigerator perfectly. Or even if you sometimes need a quick bite or even make a sandwich out of them or a wrap. So follow me, we're gonna cook these meatballs. I guarantee you're gonna love them. What we're gonna do first is have the turkey on the side. I have two pounds of ground turkey here. I think that would be enough. I like to put it on the side. Remember, every time you handle your vegetables that are raw, I separate my poultry, particularly my poultry. I separate it from everything. So we're going to begin with two organic zucchinis. And you're gonna need a grater like this. You're gonna need the big part of the grater. Just put it in a bowl like this. We're gonna begin grating this. And put it in a little bowl. On an angle, okay? Because this is what we're looking for. Now, why do I wanna go for the organic zucchini? Because they have nicer color, by the way, and they always taste very good. So this is what we're looking for, okay? So we're gonna grate two zucchinis. Okay, so here are your two grated zucchinis. This is very easy. I please want to tell you something. I know this is obvious, but don't go further than this, please. You don't know how bad it is to cut yourself with one of those things that look really harmless. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some parsley that is washed. We're going to chop it finely and we're going to use some mint I as well. Tell you one of my favorite things really to use in the kitchen is parsley because when I buy it, I can wash it and then just put it in a paper towel, leave it clean for future uses. I'm going to make sure this is chopped very, very thin. Now, if you're not one like a super chopper and you see that things are getting like very big, just remember to bring it back and then chop again. It's not a big deal. Be careful with your fingers. Make sure everything is chopped nicely. And this is gonna be approximately one cup of chopped parsley. And now we're gonna do the mint. Likewise, the mint is washed and dry and we're gonna chop probably, I would say like a quarter of a cup of mint. Look at this, this is already beautiful. So what we're trying to do right now is we're just gonna have a lot of layers of greens incorporated with the turkey. This is what we're going for. Perfect, then we're gonna go for the scallions. How we're gonna do the scallions? Put them all together here, the little heads with those little things, and then just Chop all the heads at the same time. Let's try to save some time when we do things. Here it is. We're gonna go with the scallions. Also thin. You have your grated zucchini. You have a cup and a half of chopped scallions, finely chopped parsley, meat, and you're going to need an egg. I usually crack the egg on the side and then I just mix it before I put it into the meat. So now we can begin to assemble this. First thing that I'm gonna do definitely is I'm just gonna season. First, the meat. Okay, I put salt, pepper to liking. We are going to add some cumin. Of course, cumin is like I'm measuring it this time, so I tell you exactly. This is half a tablespoon of cumin. If you like cumin seeds, you can also put just a tad. Okay, you have this ready. The meat is seasoned and mixed. Incorporate our zucchini, the mint, the parsley, and the scallions. We're gonna throw the egg. We're gonna season again, salt, pepper, cumin. 
Okay, remember one hand only to mix. Once you mix all these, you're gonna be able to see the consistency of your meatballs. Every time you make meatballs and you have vegetables in the meatballs, you never know if a vegetable is gonna lose a lot of moisture or not. So you can always mix it and see. If it looks something that cannot hold its shape, use a little flour, breadcrumbs, matzo meal, that will always help you know there's always something to do when you see that the food is not looking exactly the way that you wanted it to look so now the oil is hot i have the turkey i want you to see i put a little bit of water here on the side of course far away from the oil just to have it for my hands once my hands are a little bit wet it's easy to make the meatballs right it's gonna make your life way easier. So just have the water on the other side, never put it next to the oil, and then start searing your maple. Because this is very delicate, I like to use two forks this time. I would tell you, don't cramp them too much. You may think that you're saving time, but you really are not. So you're just gonna sear them and each side a little bit. The one I want them a little bit more brown than this. I will show you. If you wanna move them, and they don't move easily. It's not time to turn them yet. Wait a little bit. Now we have ready our sear meatballs and we have our oven proof dish, which is a little bit browned and it's okay, but if it's more like this, don't use it. Just please make sure you are going to take everything out and then leave it somehow. Perfect. Perfect. They all fit here. We're gonna bake them now. I put a little bit of water because I'm gonna bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure they're all cooked through. And five more minutes at 425. 